Tim Tebow was doing it for his for his own, I wouldn't say protest, but for his own reasons, and he gets you know vilified for you know showing Beat his up faith. and then basically run out of the league. And Un- Gene, I wanted to just uh, to touch on one last thing before we go, and it's going to be quick. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, there's going to be listeners that say, why is he in- injecting race in this? First of all, wake the hell up, man. Like, if you don't see this is about race, then 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 you got bigger issues than listening to this show. Uh, Hillary Clinton, her thighness, has been running around with a new <laughs> book. And what has she been saying over these last few weeks? All she keeps saying is that Donald Trump has some nerve. How dare he question these black athletes and what they're protesting? Really, Miss Clinton? Do you not know why you lost the election in states like Wisconsin and Pennsylvania? Do you not know why? Because you're a sellout dummy, too. You accuse everyone of being sexist and racist, even when you're projecting it. You're a sexist, racist, cankled... Oh, I'm going to have a heart attack. Gene... <laughs> Keep it's good to have you back, bro. It's good to have you back. Uh, we're a little past halftime here on the show. Thanks for listening to Behind Enemy Lines Radio. I'm Gene. He's Russ. And you can always check us out at www.behindenemylinesradio.us. Check us out on the Facebooks and the Twitters at BEL underscore radio. And when you're not listening to the show, which we normally do live, but we would experimenting a little bit with different things, you can always check us out at one of our rebroadcast outlets, including WJHC 107.5 FM in Jasper, Florida, WDDQ 92.1 FM, Talk 92.1 in Adele, Georgia, and News Talk 1330 AM WLBB in Carrollton, Georgia, all part of the Talk America Radio Network. You can also check us out on the internet at ICRN, the Internet's Conservative Radio Network, which powers the Talk America Radio Network, as well as KLRN Radio, High Plains Talk Radio and Sackheads Media, and of course, Lanterns Radio at lanterns.buzz. But if you miss any one of the rebroadcasts, don't worry, no problem, because Russ does that all the time. You can always check us out as a podcast. We're available at Spreaker, Stitcher, TuneIn, Podbay, Player FM, Google Play Music, SoundCloud, Auto Radio, iTunes, and of course, the Mighty Mighty iHeart Radio Network. And we're back into it, Russ. Listen, so as much we're... for no commercials, huh? Yeah, I'm <laughs> telling you, we're the only commercial are our own. By the way, news as we're recording right now: Harvey Weinstein has been fired after claims of sexual harassment. It's official. It, it just hit the news as we're recording this, and uh, there you have it. So, you know, NFL players can sexually harass anyone, can beat their wives, and you know, harass reporters with with a uh, Credible questions for them about, you know, plays on the field. but uh, And everyone goes nuts on that, and he's made to apologize, by the way. But Harvey Weinstein uh, apparently is being fired for cause for sexual harassment, and not one liberal in Hollywood has said a word. I guarantee you now, Russ, that the news is out that he's been fired. The pile-on is getting ready to begin. Yeah, well, it may or may not. I'm I'm torn on these kind of things. Well, listen, I'm- here's why it hasn't happened before. Before, he was still a very powerful Hollywood executive. Everyone was not judging slowly like we should do with, you know, what happened in Las Vegas. Everyone was waiting to see the outcome because, God forbid, he would have survived this, uh, you know, attack on him, whatever you want to call it. Nope. If anybody would have said anything, there would have been reprisal against them and their jobs would have been at stake. Now that he's not an executive anymore with, with I think it was Miramax or whatever he is with now, now the floodgates will open talking about this SOB and he got what he deserved and all this other stuff. Do you see the hypocrisy there, Russ? I mean, it's tremendous hypocrisy on all sides here, Gene. Not only <laughs> – all right. So not only is the left a bunch of hypocrites on this, but I, like, I, I, I only briefly read through some of these stories. I got to be honest with you because I think it's a bunch of nonsense. Um, did he rape anyone? As far Not as that I know. know. Not that I know of. Yeah. So, I mean, he was. What? What is he? He's a writer, a director. Like he, he, he's a mo- he's a movie producer who's a very powerful executive that uh yes. is in so, charge so of when who he, gets into what movie and whatever. Uh, of course. So much like, <laughs> so much like Bill Cosby, Jude. So this person with all of this power in Hollywood invites a woman to his room, and you can fill in the blank with the woman. Right, and and especially when Harvey Weinstein was a younger man, he he did stupid things like answer the door naked, or I, I mean, appropriate, absolutely not. 
But but the way they make this sound is like the the world and, and the ceiling is is falling in. I just I don't understand it because I, I talked about this in the past. When you start throwing terms around like sexual assault and and like again, Harvey Weinstein's a dirtbag. I'm not taking anything away from 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 that. But when you start throwing terms around like he sexually assaulted women, and really all he did was like you know maybe be naked when they walked in the room. That really cheapens what a sexual assault is, and it just bothers me when I hear that. But it's it's only the left that has to make these distinctions without a difference in, in most cases. Listen, well, they get what they deserve in this case. Why were, why were these – I'm not blaming the victims, Gene. I'm trying to like just beat around the bush here. But what, what are these women going to his room for? Please tell well, me. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's allegations of decades, decades of sexual misconduct. Not yeah, just so, one incident. So where not were just the reports, a handful Gene, of incidents. Gene, if this was such a serious thing, why didn't any of these people come forward earlier? If I get robbed tonight when I leave the house, I'm not going to wait 30 years to report it. You know, I, I just don't get it. No, it, absolutely right. Uh, the claim is that he was accused of sexually harassing several actresses and assistants over the past three, count them, three decades. Uh, as I'm going through the, the news reports while we're talking here. Among the names that are accusing this are uh, Rose McGowan and Ashley Judd, that nasty woman. Uh, and uh, they cl- there were cl- claims and allegations that he paid off at least eight women to settle complaints about his lewd behavior. And uh, the range of payments were between 80000 and 150000 Um Rose McGowan, who is not a spring chicken anymore, by the way, said that it happened when she was 23 back in 1997. 1997, you sit on this for 20 years. You know, she's, she's now in her 40s. Ashley Judd yeah. said the same thing. In 1997, during filming of Kiss the Girls, everybody remembers that movie, right? It was, it was actually of a course. decent movie. But it was back 20 years ago. Again. But when they were, but when they were getting paid, it wasn't that big of a deal. Like, because what I'm saying. They were like, keeping their heads down and they were keeping their job. So how I effective it had been over this? Because you know, I know how, people are going to think like, oh, these guys are like, uh, you know, they're sexist and this is crazy. I can't believe they're even saying this. It's just nonsensical, the story. I mean, and by lady. the way, by the way, Ashley Judd appeared in two other films after 1997 yes. for Harvey Weinstein. Listen, to, I mean, uh, you don't have to be a, 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 you know, you don't have to be a psychiatrist to understand what's going on here, man. These young ladies are looking for jobs in the in the movie business. This guy invites him to his room. Uh, I mean, what, what, what else needs to be said? I mean, I, I don't, I don't understand. I really don't understand the outrage here. Um, the hypocrisy is unbelievable. I know when, uh, when there was a hidden microphone and and President Trump, then uh, you know, candidate Trump said he grabs women by the the. I don't you know, know what. what say Do you know what? Do you what? know what? Uh, every woman and their mother came out saying that uh, you know, that was sexist and. And he was basically describing a sexual assault. That would have been a nice time for these other women to come out about Harvey Weinstein. But, um, uh, you know, I guess that 80 grand or 100 grand bought 30 years of silence. It's, just, it's astonishing. It's absolutely astonishing. But here's the thing. I want to know how scarring it was. I don't want to make light of, of sexual harassment and, and real issues that are traumatic. But how traumatized do you have to be for it to happen 20 years later? To sit on it for 20 years... And then just for some reason come up with the story that happened 20 years ago. What is the impetus for bringing it up? This to me is an example of the left eating their own. We've become so politically correct that even those on the left are starting to turn on each other for past transgressions. I mean, listen, if there would have been an actual criminal assault here, I don't know what evidence you would have to be able to say that a crime was committed, let's say. I don't know really what to believe in this. I, I think that these allegations should be taken seriously and there should be an investigation. Apparently, the Weinstein group, including, I believe, uh, Harvey Weinstein's brother, who's a, a part director of this, has looked into it and determined something. But now, as an attorney, I'm thinking, okay, here comes the aftermath. There's going to be probably lawsuits against Harvey Weinstein, there's going to be a, a flurry of allegations coming out. There's going to be new people coming forward uh, with, with with their own stories. There's going to be unsealing, possibly, of whatever settlements that were done prior, and maybe those people come forward. 
there's going to be a, an entire poop storm coming at Harvey Weinstein, and we have yet to see evidence of anything. And the man has <laughs> lost his job. Yeah, listen, listen. If it, <laughs> it's hard not to laugh. If, if it were, if the if if there were actual sexual assaults going on, then by all means, this guy needs to go to jail. But I'm still stuck on like we're talking listen, about a rich, rich Hollywood misconduct. It's not see they the language will get you every Gene, time, my friend. Remember misconduct when we were can be anything. A while back where my my own brother answered the door butt naked. Like I just don't understand how this rises to the level of like now I got to pay you eighty grand. It's like what do you think is going to happen? You're going it, to this guy's room somewhere. Drugs, our friend Mike alcohol, Tracy is drawing up a lawsuit. Really- Somewhere Mike Tracy is drawing up a lawsuit against your brother right now, thinking, hmm, I'm in the money. One of our friends. It's just unbelievable. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, this is all nonsensical. I'm not, um, I'm not, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Like, uh, you know, I'm not, not bigger fish to fry, bottom line. Oh, people, people act outraged when they hear these things. Like, oh, he's just another dirty pig man. I'm like, all right, relax there, uh, cowboy. These women went up to that room for a reason. Uh, they were looking for work for, uh, you know, some type of work in 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 Hollywood. Um, I don't think this is that far fetched that uh some rich guy when who he was much younger thirty years ago. I think he's in his early sixties now, so he's in his early thirties thirty years ago. I don't think it's that far fetched, man. I don't know. I I just don't know. And I'm a, no fan of this guy. What don't the point is? I think he's a piece of trash. Oh, yeah. and, and he was, listen, to him. he may well be. I don't understand what the point is bringing it up. 20 years later now, uh, to me, it's, it's, it's a reaction to the current political environment. That, how can I be a leader for women, Ashley Judd, if I don't clean up my own house and well, bring, let this come to light? Well, who his attorney is, by the way, Gene? Uh, who his attorney? I believe it, at one point it was Gloria Allred's Correct. daughter, but now she, she dropped him. Did she? When was this? I just heard couple, the other day that, that they were uh, back together. Couple days ago, I heard that they would well, drop. We, we can look that up. We'll we'll fact check that one. Don't take all words. That's folks. funny. All right. Yeah, absolutely. All right, listen, we got about ten minutes left in the show here. Damn, it's good to have you back, bro. Gene, I'm tired of talking we, to myself. We got to talk about North Korea before we go because this is absolutely. like absolutely, absolutely. Listen, we we need to talk about a, a whole bunch of things. And thank God you're going to be back on the show weekly now. I hope you know with That's the exception of drill. This, uh, and all that stuff. I'm not going to touch anything here. The computer's on. It's working, and I'm just not going to touch it. Yeah, just just let it run. If it if it goes into silent mode, it's okay. We can wake it up. <laughs> so so North Korea. Let let's talk. Finally, something. It, it took 40 minutes of show for us to get to something real. We've been talking about NFL. Yeah. Uh, obviously, the, the Second Amendment issue is something real, but now we're talking about something that affects not just some America, but every American. And that By the is way, the threat. Gee, before we get there, please, I, I know I, I'm, I'm messing up your rhythm here, but before it gets stale, I want you to just tell our listeners, since we were just talking about Harvey Weinstein, why we didn't attempt to record video tonight. <laughs> uh, that would be because that Russ Gallo is actually pulling a Harvey Weinstein right now. <laughs> I, I just made me think of that. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I told you. Russ you Gallo out the video. is the proverbial old Italian male. Sitting on the stoop with his wife, Beater, and boxers. That's it. I told Gene, I was like, I'm not really wearing any pants, and the shirt I'm wearing is not really appropriate, so this is not a good night to test the video. But I digress, oh, Gene. Let's go to North Korea. I'm sorry. Don't sue me. Listen, I don't want to. Yeah, you know what? There's going to be a woman out there somewhere that's going to sue you for misconduct right now. But North Korea. <laughs> North Korea has been a naughty, naughty little boy. Uh, we need to catch up on months of activity with you, Russ, about what's been going on there. Um, first of all, how scared should we be about the nuclear threat that is emerging very rapidly in the news, at least, that is North Korea? Uh, this is a tough subject, and 10 minutes probably won't even do it justice, but... I mean, I'm torn, Gene, myself. I'm trying to figure out, and you know, you got the Rand Paul philosophy out there, and... You got Trump running around. I don't know what the answer is here. The answer was a long time ago that you can't let these rogue regimes get nuclear weapons. Now, when they're when they're as close as they are and, and they've been testing these devices for quite some time now, it, it really – it truly is almost too late. I mean what do we do? Uh, you know, years ago, President Bush, George W. Bush, 
said that the axis of evil was 